right, welcome back. My name's Chris. This is Marcus. We're talking fabric data warehouses. Last video we created one. This video, we're going to what, Marcus? We're going to show you a technique of being able to copy data into that warehouse via a T-SQL statement. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I know T-SQL. Let's get into it. Let's do it. All right, so picking up from our last video where we showed you how to create that warehouse. In this video, we're gonna show you how to create a T-SQL statement that will take some sample data from a blob storage and land that directly into one of our data warehouse tables. The first step we'll need to do though is create a table in our data warehouse to land that data in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new SQL query. Uh, I did that by selecting the new SQL query option at the top menu, uh, in the top menu here. And I'm going to bring over a create table uh, statement that I have here. And this is going to create a dimension city table uh, with the columns and data types defined here. So I'm going to go ahead and but it run says this. More statement. than that, it says it drops the table if it exists, right? That's correct, Chris. So to start out, uh, we want to ensure that this table doesn't already exist or the table name doesn't already exist in our data warehouse. So we're going to have that statement at the beginning, and then we're going to create that table again with the appropriate column names, data types defined, uh, et cetera. Okay. And um, now I'm familiar with creating a table and I see you've got the field name, the data type. What's the null at the end of there? It's a great question, Chris. So the null statement is going to specify whether or not you want that column to accept null values uh, or not. So the two options there would be to put null or you could specify it as not null uh, to put a constraint on that column to ensure that uh, null values would not be accepted into that column. Fantastic. Thank you, Marcus. We're going to switch that back to null. And again, because I included this first statement on line one here, this is a repeatable command that I can I can run again in that window. So I've already run it once. I can run it again, uh, and the same action will happen uh, for creating my table, though I've already created it. So in this case, line one actually did drop that table and then it recreated it. So if I refresh my DBO schema here and look at the tables, I can now see a dimension city table uh, in my warehouse. And if I click on that table, we'll see that we don't have any data in there quite yet. Okay. Because you just created the table, right? We just, haven't populated it with data yet, right? Correct. Just created the table. So now I'm going to click New SQL Query again. And we're going to bring over a statement that copies our data from a public blob storage. Oh, look at that. And brings it right into our Dimension City table that we just created. So it's a pretty simple statement. It's a copy into your table definition from the blob storage path that the file's contained in. And then line three, making sure you specify the file type, which in this case is Parquet. Got it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. For this to work, I imagine my field names have to exactly match the order of column names that are in the parquet file. Is that right? That's a good call out, Chris. Yeah, uh, you're exactly right. We need to make sure that the column names and the column types that we're copying from match our table definition uh, that we have specified in our warehouse. So we did that up front. Uh, made sure those matched before running this statement, but that's a great call out to ensure that you do that before running uh, this type of uh, T-SQL statement. 
And it's also a good way to, you know, if you see that you have an issue in your data or something's not quite right, uh, going back and making sure that th what the file you're copying in has the same order, your know, names as, as you're expecting. So this is fantastic. You got it. And we can see that within a couple of seconds, we were able to copy 116,000 records into our dimension table. Wow. So now let's go verify that we have some, da some data in that table. So I'm going to click my dimension city table. And look at that. We now have our table columns and rows populated with that data that we were able to copy over from blob storage. Oh, that's just, just amazing. That, I mean, that, you know, you use T-SQL to create a table, which if you know T-SQL, not a problem. You use T-SQL to upload and, and, and fill a table. Again, not a problem. What are we gonna cover in our next video, Marcus? Come back for our next video where we'll show you a low code, no code experience that Microsoft has provided with data flows to ingest data into our warehouse. All right, this I cannot wait to see. Come on back for the next one.